Some interesting facts about macrophages. Number 1. Bodies big eaters. Macrophages are derived from the Greek words, macro, meaning big, and phage, meaning eater. Macrophages are large immune cells known for their ability to eat or engulf harmful invaders like bacteria, viruses, and dead cells. Number 2. Source of origin. Macrophages originate from monocytes, a type of white blood cell. These monocytes are produced in the bone marrow and travel through the bloodstream to various tissues. Once there, they transform into macrophages, ready to protect and clean up. Number 3. Unique structure. They have a single, oval or kidney-shaped nucleus, abundant cytoplasm containing lysosomes and phagosomes for digesting harmful substances, and a surface with extensions called pseudopodia for movement and engulfing pathogens. Number 4. A cell eater. Macrophage, recognizes and binds to a target, like microbes or pathogen. The cell membrane then engulfs the target, forming a vesicle called a phagosome. This phagosome fuses with a lysosome, creating a phagolysosome, where enzymes and toxic substances digest the engulfed material. The debris is then expelled or recycled. Number 5. Highly Adaptive Nature. Macrophages adapt to their environment and can change their roles. They have two major activation states. M1 macrophages which are pro-inflammatory and help fight infections or tumors. M2 macrophages which are anti-inflammatory and play a role in tissue repair and wound healing. Number 6. Tissue-specific names. Did you know that macrophages have different names depending on where they reside in the body? In the liver, they're called Kupfer cells. In the lungs, they're alveolar macrophages. In the brain, they transform into microglia. Despite their different names, they all perform similar critical tasks. Number 7. First Responders. Macrophages are among the first cells to respond to an infection or injury. They release chemical signals called cytokines to recruit other immune cells to the site. Number 8. Cancer Double Agents. Macrophages can help fight cancer by attacking tumor cells, but in some cases, they are tricked by tumors to promote growth and suppress the immune response. These are called tumor-associated macrophages, TAMs. Number 9. Foam Cells in Atherosclerosis. Macrophages contribute to the formation of foam cells, a hallmark of atherosclerosis. When macrophages consume too much cholesterol, they turn into these foam-like structures, contributing to plaque buildup in arteries which can risk a plaque rupture, heart attack or stroke. Number 10. Iron Recycling Experts. In the spleen and liver, macrophages break down old red blood cells and recycle the iron, ensuring the body has enough iron for new blood cell production. If you enjoyed learning about these cellular superheroes, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Tiny Predators. Until next time, stay curious and stay healthy.